Hey there, <laughs> welcome to the social space as we tape this on Tuesday, September 15th. It's somebody's birthday. We'll get to that in just a second. This is the show about Wichita Falls, Texas, and the whole wide world. Real quick, I want to thank Town Square Media. Mm -hmm. You know, the audio version of this show airs 1030 a.m. on News Talk 1290. Of course, we air KAUZ 1030 p.m. Saturday nights. That's News Channel 6 and Falls Truck Center. Yes. They're our other partner in this, and we love them to death. Hey, I'm Eric Crossland, and the birthday girl over here is Jackie Hager. Hello. Wow, Jackie. 47. 37. Uh, 21. <laughs> Is that the third set guess Jackie's age? <laughs> yeah. You get a big jar of M&M's? <laughs> is, is, is there more years or M&M's in that jar? Oh. <laughs> I just got fired. <laughs> it's your left, Andrew Bell. How you doing, yes, buddy? Good, good. Wear black or something, buddy. Yeah. Know. What's wrong with you? I didn't get the memo. <laughs> uh, and to my right, yeah. one of my bestest friends in the whole wide world. I love her to death. Katie, six out of ten, Britt. How you doing, Katie? Hi, I'm so glad to be here, Eric. Six out of ten. Being here, Katie. Maybe if people are lucky, we'll tell you where you got your nickname later. <laughs> Katie, thanks. Um, we're excited about this big event that's coming up. I remember when uh, we were on the phone call with you guys, and Henry called us. I didn't hesitate for a second to be one of the key sponsors of this event. So I'm excited. Hager Communications is um, one of the sponsors for this event called the Social Media Summit, and it's coming up. Yes. So tell us what the Social Media Summit is and why now. Well, about a year ago, we started coming together at the Chamber to put together something for our members. We know that it's, uh, social media is always changing, mm -hmm. and people are always needing to stay up to date with it, and sometimes it can be a little overwhelming mm -hmm. to just somebody that doesn't do it all day like like we do. Mm -hmm. um, so we put this event together and it's gonna be October 8th. And we are doing it virtually. Originally it was gonna be in person, but as all things happen, we will be doing it virtually. Mm -hmm. We've got some incredible speakers. This guy's gonna be one of them. And there's right. incredible speakers. <laughs> <laughs> He's a six out of 10. <laughs> <laughs> but we are so thankful that Hager is our, our title sponsor for this because they, you know, you guys also just push us even further ahead and make us up our own game for this. So I'm excited to bring this to everyone. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, and you're so right when you say that. Remember back in the day, it was like only make one post a day. You said social media changes, you know, oh, and, and, and really, it really has, you know, every year, every month. Uh, so, Katie, the, the the summit here. Who is the target audience? Do you think, and how would that target audience go about signing up for the event? The target audience for this is going to be anybody that's a small business. Mm -hmm. If you're uh, a beginner social media person, if you're trying to get better, or maybe you have a marketing team that could use a little growth. So we want to help them grow that and um, just explode their engagement just by giving some of the tips that they can go home with at the end of the day from that four-hour session that we're putting on. And if they want to sign up, they just need to go to the wichitafallschamber.com forward slash social media summit. Hopefully you'll put that somewhere I in shall. here. Thank you. Um, and then sign up on that. It's $75 if you're a chamber member. And, but if you're not a member, you can still sign up, and it's $100. Now, I heard we already have a good uh, amount of sign-ups, which is awesome. Yes, we but do. But I think the reason you'd want to sign up is the speaker lineup is great. Amazing. Yeah. Um, I don't, can I go ahead and talk about yeah. the speaker lineup? Yeah. Great. So we have a keynote speaker who's Pedro Lerma, yeah. and he, is, uh, he owns an agency in Dallas called Lerma Agency. And he's actually a native, or he's from Wichita Falls at some point in his life. I don't remember if he was a native or not. But um, so Pedro Lerma from Lerma Agency, and then we have Eric Crossland here. Yay. He's going to be talking about <laughs> content creation and how you can easily create content. And we also have Catherine Hager from Ramble and yes. Company, and she's an amazing engagement expert. She has over 27,000 followers on her Instagram page, hey. so you definitely want to get some insight from her on how a small business can grow their Instagram and their business. Huh. And then last but definitely not least, we have Logan Draper from yeah. DesignWorks, and he's going to talk about content strategy, so how you can actually learn to strategize your, your social media and get started today. So, Katie, you have 23 years of experience with social media. 
I had six, and then I retired my social media <laughs> accounts. Yeah. But why is social media so important for so small businesses? Well, especially with right now, there's so many people that are spending 95 to 100 percent of their time on online, mm -hmm. and even shopping has gone. The it's exploded in the amount of people that are buying stuff online now. Yeah. So it's important that we can find a way to help our businesses make sure they stay top of mind and just just keep their brand out there for people to, to start buying now online. Yep, yep. Thank you, Chamber. Way to go, Henry. Thanks for bringing great programs. Yeah, you know? and you know, you mentioned it's only $75 if you're a Chamber member. If you're a small business, you really should be a Chamber member. I've never not heard, I'm saying this right, anyone who I've ever talked to is like, gosh, we're so glad we joined the Chamber. We get all these things from it. So, you know, if you're a small business, it would really behoove you to right. join the chamber. But I always right say, to? I always say being a member of a chamber, you only get out of a chamber what you put into a chamber. Mm. So don't just write the check for the yearly fee and then not participate. Show up and network and get involved. That's what chambers are for, right? Yes, they're, they're for that, but our chamber, you know, Henry likes to say this, once you've seen one chamber, you've seen one chamber. So our chamber is actually so much more than just a membership organization. Yes. We are also the economic development leg for the city. So whenever whatever you put into it, you're also you're also being a part of the growth of Wichita Falls and mm -hmm. our community you know, excelling. Yep. I mean, we all wake up to Henry every morning at 7 a.m. giving <laughs> us the tempo of the city for the day. Yeah. We do. I watch it on the <laughs> we do. It's, I literally listen to him every single Jackie morning. Does. I do. What, uh, uh, and you know, gosh, we can't wait to get the, the business after hours going yes. again and all that stuff. I really uh, enjoyed going to those as soon as we get out of this pandemic. Our keynote speaker, Pedro Lerma, uh, is going to actually be our next guest. Yeah. We're going to have him via satellite, yeah. via Zoom. There we he's, go. He's probably in the Metroplex right now, I would mm -hmm. assume. And mm -hmm. so we're going to talk to him. But thank you so much. But we would like you to stick around while yeah. we interview him. Sure. And then uh, we'll, we'll take care of all that when we come back with the social space. It was her birthday, by the way. Yeah. Yay! Welcome to our first, and hopefully not the last, Friday Live from your favorite people, the Chamber. <laughs> Today we want to talk to you guys about the Social Media Summit that is coming up in October. Yay! What, what? Falls Truck Center has parts and is quickly becoming the go-to provider for big truck parts for every major manufacturer on the highway, including thousands of in-stock OE and quality aftermarket brands. With over 45 years combined experience selling and locating those hard-to-find parts, Joseph and Jack are on standby and ready to assist you with any repair project. Need service too? Falls Truck Center can get you in a bay and back on the road within hours, not days or weeks. Come see us at Falls Truck Center next to Flying J. Call us at 940-64-PARTS. We also have Eric Crossland, who is the content, he's going to be talking about content creation, and he works at Hager Communications, and he does this really cool TV show called The Social Space. He told me to tell y'all that his title is actually Hot Shot. I don't know if that's true. His title's Hot Shot? Well, that's what he said. I like it, though. I mean... It's my favorite. <laughs> I mean, I'd give it a 6 out of 10. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the Social Space Jackie Hager Birthday Edition. Katie <laughs> Britt is still with us from last segment. I'm still Eric Crossland. I'm Jackie Hager. I'm Andrew Bell. And joining us now, I guess he's what we would call the keynote speaker of this yes. wonder, so, wonderful social media summit we've been talking about here uh, via Zoom, Pedro Lerma. Pedro, hey, thanks for being here, sir. Yay! Hey, everybody. Happy birthday, Jackie. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, you know, I have to tell you, Pedro, I've read lots of articles um, about you, and one of them that really impressed me was you were one of the key leaders to bring Hispanic marketing to the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Can you give us a little quick bio from the Richards Group to the Larima Agency? Sure, um, and the first thing I'll do is I'll correct that um, I wasn't the first. Uh, there were some others that had come before, uh, had done some really interesting work in pioneering the Hispanic marketing space. Um, a guy named um, Tony Dieste still has an agency 
He's someone that I uh, admire. He's a good friend of mine. But uh, my career started with uh, the Richards Group in uh, their digital practice. And I was hired there in 1998 and, and started with a small group of uh, digital practitioners. And we grew that to become the largest specialized discipline of any of the satellite companies around uh, the Richards Group ecosystem. And then uh, about 11 years ago, Stan Richards and I sat down uh, to talk about other needs within that ecosystem. And Hispanic was one of the disciplines that had never really been sustainably addressed. And so we decided to launch at that point, it was called Richards Lerma. And we celebrated our 10 year anniversary um, at, the, at the end of last year. And we decided to rebrand. So in February, uh, right before COVID hit, uh, we unveiled uh, a new name and logo, and it's just Lerma now. Uh, it's still a partnership with Stan Richards. Um, he's also someone that uh, I admire very much. Uh, he's a, a legend in the industry, and, and I'm uh, proud to be affiliated with him. Pedro, as the keynote speaker of the Social Media Summit, what, what should we expect from this event? Well, I'm going to be sharing some uh, insights on what we do for avocados from Mexico. Uh, they're a brand that has not been around uh, for very long, um, but has uh, gained a lot of prominence. And uh, a lot of that comes from their Super Bowl activity. And we have been their digital and social agency for the last um, six years. We've taken them now to the, the Super Bowl uh, five times. and. Uh, in the last four times, we have been this, the number one most talked about brand in and around uh, social media uh, in and around the Super Bowl. And so we've figured out how to you know, have a big voice um, on a big stage and re really with a fraction of the budget of a lot of the other people that are in and around the Super Bowl. So you have you know, the big beer companies, car companies, um, packaged goods companies that have lots of money to throw at the Super Bowl. Some of them buy multiple spots, um, and yet we've found a way to engage our fans uh, and to get them to, uh, you know, push us to the top of the rankings. So, um, and then the other thing that is important, so we, yeah, we make a lot of noise around the Super Bowl, but there are studies, um, and YouGov is, is one of the organizations that does a study of uh, Super Bowl advertisers and the impact that that has uh, or not on their sales. And for the last several years, uh, Avocados from Mexico has topped the list of brands that saw a sustained lift in purchase intent. So that's really what matters uh, to our client and to us. And so I'll, I'll just share a little more detail around that. Very cool. Oh, yeah. That's exciting. Katie, it is. how did we find this guy? This is awesome. Well, I'm going to have to give all the credit to, to Logan Draper and, and Design Works because I know Pedro has some, some history there with Design Works. Isn't that right? That's right. Um, I started, so I was at Midwestern, um, and even you know, while I was in school, I started working at a radio station. Uh, at that point, it was called KNIN. I don't know if still they is. still go yeah, by still internet, there. But, um, <laughs> uh, I was just working in radio sales and uh, one of the clients that I called on was Design Works. And so I got to know uh, Craig and his team and, um, and I guess he came to like me and one day said or asked me, why don't you come to work for me? And I really liked visiting the agency. It was a really creative environment and uh, I liked him a lot. And so I thought, well, that sounds like a good idea. And so I started working for Craig. Uh, and I worked there for uh, four years uh, before moving to Dallas. Very cool. Awesome. That's great. You know, Pedro, you're the keynote speaker to the Social Media Summit that we're here to talk about today. And I know uh, when people purchase their tickets and dial in, you're going to be giving them a lot of good information. Could you give us just a, a smidge, just a, some words of wisdom uh, for social media, for small businesses? Um, I guess in what I'll share more about, uh, around avocados from Mexico is just the way that we engage our fans and we're lucky that it's avocados and lots of people love avocados and I mean they love that brand passionately and so they're happy to engage on behalf of the brand and that's really what we rely on in order to generate all of that social media activity but I think even on a, a local level 
with a small brand. Uh, if you're treating your customers the way you should be, then, um, then it shouldn't be a problem to engage them to be ambassadors on behalf of your brand. Awesome. Well, I tell you what, we're, we're looking forward to seeing you, your keynote speaker. Uh, you have to do a really good job because I'm not sure how I'm going to do. I'm one of the speakers. <laughs> nah, we'll, we'll do good. Uh, uh, thanks for being here, Pedro. Do you want to have, have anything else they want to do? You know, I had you? avocados for lunch first. I love Let avocados. me just say that. <laughs> but number two, I think you can't miss this. I think the wisdom that we will get from this. So thank you, Chamber, again. So I think you got to get yeah. get a ticket for this thing. Yeah. If anything, just to listen to Pedro, it's worth the ticket. The word he is absolutely worth the ticket price. Yes. I've been meaning to ask him that maybe we could get the avocados from Mexico to, to bring some avocados for everyone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, no. <laughs> well, no, we, we could probably arrange that. <laughs> Just say there from there. Hey, uh, thank you so much, Pedro. Uh, uh, once again, everybody, buy your tickets. We had to go virtual, but you, gosh, you can stay home, stay in your jammies, yes. you know, and just watch all this great information. We're going to take a break. We're going to say goodbye to Katie as well. Thank you, Katie, for being yeah. here. We're going to bring on another Bell, not by blood, but by marriage. <laughs> <laughs> Christina Bell, your sister-in-law, your brother Brennan's wife, she's going to be here next. Nobody look at her hands. She's very sensitive about them. Oh! oh. <laughs> We're going to more social space. <laughs>
to the social space, Jackie Hager birthday edition. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Mark Crossland. We got Jackie Hager over there. We got Andrew Bell over there. And to my right, another person that shares the same last name as this guy, Christina it's Bell. Weird. Christina? It's good. It's weird. Hey guys. What's your relation to this guy? I don't know. I'm not <laughs> met him. <laughs> Just kidding. He's my brother in law. Brother in law, <laughs> Brendan Bell, who I see stair stepping at uh, the gym all the time. He loves to walk up and down those stairs. These two love cardio. It's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We can go all day. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we're, we're here to talk about the Social Media Summit, but real right. quick, uh, let's just mention y'all's new show, The Circuit, that the Chamber's yeah. putting out. What's that going to be about? So it's actually a new program for emerging leaders. Uh, we partnered up with the young professionals at Wichita Falls to kind of enhance it, have more direction, and emerge more leaders. Okay. Emerging awesome. leaders. I'm excited about that program. Yeah. It's going to be phenomenal. I'm actually participating in it. I'm super excited about it. Awesome. Now, you're the director of membership there at the chamber, so you probably hear a whole lot of what the membership is asking yeah. programs to bring. Why did you guys decide to bring this program? Well, Jackie, I'm glad you asked. <laughs> Uh, we're all glued to our phones, our computers, I mean, constantly on social media, and the numbers of viewers just keep spiking up and up. Um, due to COVID, we haven't been able to have that level of connectedness. And even before COVID, we felt the need for our members to kind of enhance the way that they commu communicate, share their story. Um, and so that's how we came up with the social media summit. I had member after member, you know, new business after new business. Hey, we're not having any people in our doors. How are you sharing your story? Yeah. And so um, that's how we came up with the social media summit. And because of COVID, we had to go to virtual, but that kind of enticed us more to bring this to the community mm -hmm. um, because we want to connect. People crave connectedness. Mm -hmm. And so we really hope that this enhances the ability for our members to do so and community as a whole. Yeah, and, and you know, we, we, we covered it in the first segment, but it bears repeating. How do people sign up for this awesome event? Go to our website, wichitafallschamber.com forward slash social media summit. You know, I think the timing is perfect for this because social media is such a love-hate relationship with so many people. We need it for business. Mm. It's a great way to tell your business story, but I bet you we touch on this summit somewhere. You know, what are the etiquette rules of, of uh, social media? It's kind of like when you want to send that email and you go, right, don't push send <laughs> until tomorrow. Sleep on because it. Sleep on it because how you feel. I always think that when I read the news feed and I see what people post, I go, Oh, it just <laughs> stops me in my tracks and I think, I wonder if they really thought about it yeah. before they posted it. And you know, that's an issue um, a lot of people face, but another big issue is, you know, uh, tech guys, you know, they're, they're always calling us, what am I supposed to share? Uh -huh. How am yes. I supposed to tell my story? Yeah. And that's really where I get so energized and, and passionate. You know, you have these repeat customers who love your ser your service, just share that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and so I'm really excited for this because I feel like people will be able to dive a little deeper into how to actually utilize these tools that we all have access to so easily. Yeah. 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 High five. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Well, I think we have the wrong hands, but whatever. <laughs> all right. Well, thank you so much, Christina Bell, thank for being on the show today. Once again, yeah. go sign up for the Social Media yeah. Summit. It's going to be a lot of great information. I know I joked around, but mine's going to be good too, Jackie. You'll it'll be, proud be of me. it'll be great. You'll be proud of me. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and also, uh, go to the cham join the chamber's Facebook page and mm -hmm. uh, check out last week's videos featuring these small hands with Christina. I have to hide my other one. Yep. Yeah. Uh, and it, it's just been, it's going to be wonderful for everybody. And what, what is the date again? October 8th. October 8th. I'm not sure if we mentioned that or not. Once again, I'd like to thank all of our partners. That's going to be yes. Town Square Media. We're on News Talk 1290, the audio version, 1030 AM. Channel 6, KAUZ, 1030 PM every Saturday night. And also Falls Truck Center. We love those guys. Mm. They, they Thank you, Sean look, and Tanya. Look for our new uh, bus wrap. Oh, Zach, how oh. Oh, oh, boy. <laughs> Don't think I'm not going to yeah. use that to meet the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> Creep. All right. Uh, on behalf of everybody that's been on today, Pedro Lerma, Katie, 6 out of 10 bit, Brid, Christina Bell, 
Andrew Bell, Jackie <laughs> Hager, happy birthday, Ken Gershner back there, I'm Eric Crossland, and this has been The Social Space. Yeah! Yeah! Yay. 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 Oh.